What's up, Travel Tribe? Welcome back to another episode of High Fives, where we uncover the hidden gems that often fly under the radar. Today, we're diving deep into the mesmerizing world of Japan, a nation renowned for its incredible culture, mouth-watering cuisine, and of course, the neon-lit cityscapes of Tokyo. But you know us, we're all about straying off the beaten path to unearth those one-of-a-kind experiences that most tourists miss. So pack your bags and get ready to be blown away as we take you on a journey through five of Japan's best-kept secrets. Destinations so incredible, so unique, that you'll be wondering why you haven't visited them sooner. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's get this adventure started. 1. Totori Sand Dunes our first stop takes us to the Totori Sand Dunes, a sprawling sandy wonderland located on the shores of the Sea of Japan. Now, when you think of Japan, massive dunes probably aren't the first thing that comes to mind, right? Well, prepare to have your expectations shattered. Stretching an incredible 16 kilometers long and reaching up to two kilometers wide in some parts, these dunes are nothing short of spectacular. Formed over the centuries by sand carried by ocean winds, they create an almost surreal landscape that feels more at home in a desert rather than on the coast of Japan. As you stand amongst the towering dunes, you can't help but be awestruck by the sheer scale and beauty of this natural phenomenon. The sand seems to shimmer and dance in the sunlight, with each ridge and valley casting intricate shadows that constantly shift with the wind's gentle caress. But the Totori sand dunes aren't just a pretty sight, they're a full-blown adventure playground waiting to be conquered. Sandboarding down these massive slopes is an absolute thrill with speeds reaching up to 60 kilometers per hour. Talk about an adrenaline rush. Strap on your board, dig your edges in, and let gravity do the rest as you carve your way through the soft sandy peaks. For a more relaxed experience, you can hop aboard a camel and leisurely trek across the dunescapes, basking in the sun and taking in the incredible vistas all around you. It's hard to believe you're still in Japan. Insider tip, time your visit for early morning or late afternoon to catch the dunes when they're bathed in that gorgeous golden light. The contrasts are simply breathtaking. Two, Naraijuku. From the sandy shores of Totori, we now transport you to the historic streets of Naraijuku, an immaculately preserved post town that will make you feel like you've stepped through a portal into ancient Japan. Nestled in the picturesque valleys of Nagano Prefecture, Naraijuku was a vital resting point along the ancient Nakasendo Trail, which connected Kyoto and Edo, now Tokyo, during the Edo period. As you wander down the charming main street lined with traditional wooden buildings, you'll be struck by the incredible sense of history and culture that permeates every nook and cranny. Imagine for a moment merchants and samurai passing through these very streets hundreds of years ago, the clip-clop of horses' hooves echoing against the old taverns and inns. It's like the entire town is frozen in time, a living museum where the Edo era never ended. One of the highlights is most definitely the Naraijuku Honjin a magnificent former inn that hosted feudal lords and their entourages as they journeyed along the trail. Step inside and you'll be treated to a world of tatami mat floors, delicately carved transoms and lavish decorative elements that showcase the impeccable craftsmanship of ages past. As you continue exploring, be sure to stop by one of the traditional confectionery shops and pick up some delectable handmade sweets and candies. The recipes and techniques used have been passed down through generations, ensuring an authentic taste of Edo-era Japan with every delicious bite. Insider tip. Time your visit for one of the annual festivals when the entire town comes alive with traditional music, dance, costumes and arts and end crafts. It's like being transported to the Edo period itself. 3. Kunisaki Peninsula if you're in the mood for a journey that combines breathtaking natural scenery with deep spiritual roots, then our next destination, the mystical Kunisaki Peninsula, is sure to leave you utterly spellbound. Jutting out into the shimmering waters of the Bungo Channel on the island of Kyushu, this secluded peninsula feels like a world away from the modern cities and towns that dot the rest of Japan. Here, ancient shrines and temples lie hidden amongst rolling green hills, pristine forests and dramatic coastal cliffs that plunge into the turquoise sea below. As you set out to explore the winding roads that snake their way across the peninsula, 
you'll quickly understand why Kunisaki has been considered a sacred site of Buddhism in Shinto for well over a millennium. Whole villages seem to have been frozen in time, with thatched roof farmhouses and fields carved into the hillsides, almost untouched by the rapid development that has swept across other parts of the country. At the heart of this mystical land lies the awe-inspiring Usa Jingu, a revered shrine complex that dates back over 1,000 years. As you approach through the towering green cedars that line the entrance, you can't help but feel a sense of reverence and spirituality washing over you. The masterfully carved buildings, the smell of smouldering incense and the gentle tinkling of bronze bells in the mountain breeze all contribute to an atmosphere that is at once serene and humbling. But the Kunisaki Peninsula isn't just about shrines and temples. The natural landscapes here are simply jaw-dropping. Hike along the rugged coastal trails for sweeping vistas of sheer cliffs and crashing waves, or lose yourself amidst the primeval forests that sweep across the interior. You'll quickly understand why this place has been considered sacred for so long. Insider tip, sign up for an overnight stay at one of the Shukubo Temple lodgings to get an authentic taste of Buddhist monastic life. The vegetarian cuisine is absolutely divine. For Sumo Stable Visit. For our next stop, we're headed to the sumo capital of the world, Tokyo. But rather than checking out one of the major tournaments, we're going to take you behind the scenes for a rare look at the daily lives and grueling training regimens of these revered athletes. Step inside an actual sumo stable known as a heya and you'll find yourself immersed in a world steeped in tradition and uncompromising physical discipline. The sheer size and power of the wrestlers is staggering up close, with some tipping the scales at well over 300 pounds of pure muscle and bulk. As you observe the morning practice, you'll bear witness to some of the most intense training routines imaginable. Slapping contests that leave hands bright red and stinging pushing matches against a wooden pole. Even repeated bouts of slamming their colossal frames onto the clay floor over and over again to build unbreakable fortitude. It's a fascinating glimpse into the grit, dedication and unwavering spirit required to rise through the ranks of Japan's national sport. You'll gain a profound respect and appreciation for these modern day gladiators after witnessing their perseverance firsthand. And who knows? You might just catch the eye of the stable master and have the honor of being invited inside the ring for a little sumo exhibition of your own. Just don't be surprised when you go flying across the room after one hearty shove from these surprisingly fast and agile behemoths. Inside a tip, check for morning practice sessions as that's when the real hard training goes down. Just be prepared for a very early wake up call. Five, IR Valley. For our final hidden gem, we're whisking you away to the remote and mystical Ia Valley on the island of Shikoku. This secluded mountain realm feels as if it's been frozen in time for centuries, a place where the frenetic pace of modern life has yet to make an impact. As you wind your way up the sinuous roads that cut through emerald peaks and plunging valleys, you'll quickly understand why this area was so isolated for so long. Here, the people have clung tightly to their traditional ways of life continuing to live off the bounties of the land and preserving the customs and architecture of old Japan. One of the most striking sights you'll stumble upon are the incredible vine bridges that hang suspended across the Ia Valley's plunging ravines. Woven together from sturdy vine cables and wooden slats, these ingenious structures have provided the only way across these gorges for centuries. Make no mistake though, they sway and creak ominously underfoot, providing a true test of courage. Those with a fear of heights may want to secure themselves with the provided safety lines. Once across, you'll find yourself in idyllic hamlets where thatched roof farmhouses and verdant rice paddies seem plucked straight from the pages of a rustic folktale. The residents here are renowned for their warm hospitality, often inviting visitors into their homes to share delectable homemade meals and join in community events and festivals. Hikes through the mountainous interior provide one jaw-dropping panorama after another. Snow-capped peaks loom in the distance, while the valley floors are quilted with terraced fields and groves that radiate in rich emerald hues. Keep your eyes peeled for troops of furry Japanese macaques scampering through the forests as well. As the sun begins to dip below the horizon, the Iya Valley takes on an almost mystical aura. The shadows grow long, mist starts to curl between the peaks, 
and the only sounds are the gentle rush of the rivers and the chorus of birds returning to their nests. It's pure, unadulterated magic. Inside a tip, book a stay at one of the traditional Minshuku family inn. The hospitality is second to none, and you'll get to experience the true Ia Valley lifestyle. And there you have it, Travel Tribe, five of Japan's best kept secrets laid bare. From sandboarding down towering dunes to stepping back in time through historic post towns to finding your inner zen in mystical mountain valleys, there's something here for every type of wanderer. Where do you think your next off the beaten path adventure will take you? Let me know in the comments below. While you're at it, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another episode of High Fives. We'll catch you next time with more hidden gems from around the world.